Greetings, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. Glory to God here coming to you live. Praise God. Into your living room, into your car, hallelujah, wherever you are. And you're tuned in. We are one in the spirit with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are God's time in ministry from Fairbanks, Alaska. Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, we, are, we have a prayer line. The number is 907-452-922. Keep those lines ringing. Glory to God. And we have like um, email. Can be contacted at email. Gods.tiny.ministry at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Another thing I'd like to tell you too is this. It is the time to celebrate. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? It is the time to celebrate. In fact, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Every day is a time of celebration. Every day. Glory to God. Is a time to just know that God is here in his presence. We are today. Hallelujah. Join us. Come on. Let's, let's just move on into the meat of things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I worship him. Come, let's worship him today. Praise God. We are in his presence. Hallelujah. Here we are in God's presence. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And as the music begins to play, praise Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Just raise your hands, close your eyes, and just feel the presence of the God. The God of your salvation. Hallelujah. He's the Lord God Almighty. Yes, he is here. Glory to God. He just wants to touch us where we are. Come on, let's worship him. Praise God. Let's worship him today, saints. You are here, moving in our midst. We worship you. We worship you. Talking to the Lord. You are here. Thank you. 
for a light in the darkness. Hallelujah. You, yes, that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah, you are a way maker. Working. You don't have to feel it's working. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. Even though I don't see the working, never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even though I don't see you sit working. Even though I don't feel that you're working, you never stop. God never stop working. God never stop. He never stop working. Even though I don't see him working, even though I don't feel him working, he never stop. God never stop working. God never stop. He never stop working. Even though I don't see him working. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who we are. Oh, 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 a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Oh, 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 a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hallelujah, you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, you are, that is who God is. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. It's so wonderful to feel the presence of God. It's so wonderful to be with you again today, hallelujah, and to be ignited, hallelujah, to be excited, glory to God, and to be delighted by the Lord himself, hallelujah. So we give him the highest praise. We give him the highest praise today. Oh, precious name of the Lord Jesus. Precious name of the Lord Jesus. Precious name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, we come into your presence, Father God. It's just mighty. It's wonderful. Oh, glory to God. It's miraculous. Hallelujah. We come to you, Lord God. We feel, Father God, I told you, we feel your mercy, glory to God. Mercy upon us. Father, hallelujah, your grace, your grace is sufficient for us today. We come believing you, Lord God, taking at your word, Lord God, and stepping out in faith, Lord God, today, knowing, Lord God, that you are for us, Lord God, and, and that you will take us to where you want us to be, Lord God, in you. My God, my God, my God, you're here with us. You're a miracle worker. You're a way maker. You're a promise keeper. You're the light in the darkness. Father God, thy word is a lamp unto our feet, hallelujah, and a light unto our path. Today we come, Lord God, connecting ourselves, joining ourselves, Lord God, with those that are tuning in with us today, Lord, and just bringing praise and worship to you, Lord God. And Father, in preparation, Father God, to bring forth, Father God, a healing word for people, glory to God. A rhema word, Father God, if I may, a right now word, hallelujah. The people are looking for a word, hallelujah. Oh, Father God, to a leadership. Word, Father God, of hope. A word, Lord, Father, that will lead them to peace. A word, Lord God, hallelujah, to know which way to go, direction. Father God, we're here in the name of Jesus to love you, Lord. Father, to wait on you. Oh, Lord, to be in your presence, to, oh, just hear from you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Glory, glory, glory to your name, Lord. I sing glory, glory, glory to your name, Lord. Healing, healing in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory to your name, Lord. 
glory, glory to your name. Lord, comfort in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for healing and wholeness and comfort today, Lord God. For some people needing comfort, I feel in, in the Holy Spirit, Lord God, present that people need comfort today, Lord God. Oh, Father God, grief. Oh, Father God, deliverance, Father God, of grief. Bring unto them happiness and wholeness. Oh, Father God, today people need, Father, to stand up. Raise them up again, Lord God. Raise help them to stand up. Help them not to give up in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. And we're thankful for this great opportunity to serve you another day. Oh, but this is your day. Oh, you've made it, and you're giving it to us. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it, Lord God. And we're going to sing praises to your name. In the name of Jesus, as we go forth, Lord God, and, and Father, and present the Holy Word, the Holy Scriptures, Lord God, as we go forth, Father God, and just obedient to bring forth, Father God, the Word of life today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you to help us, Lord God, bless us, Lord God, that someone will come to know you today. In the name of Jesus, some will give their hearts to you, some will sell out, some will stop procrastinating, and, and they will come, Father God. Oh, Father God, to you, just as they are, to let you clean them up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this service. And we just ask you, Father, just lead us in God and, re and receive our praises unto you. We love you. Father God, we just excited, Father God, because we know you're here. And as the music plays, Lord God, we continue to, Father God, to know, Father God, that you, Father God, are here. And you excite us to go on and not back up, not give up. Father God, not throwing our towels, Lord God, but to Father God to lift you up. Oh, glory to know, Lord God, that you are receiving our praises. And oh, glory to God, we're being moved, Father God, in you to new heights, to new heights. Glory to God. Yes, you're here, Lord, to hold Let it the key. Hallelujah. I know you're here. Oh, say, get you in the key. Hallelujah, praise God. You are here. You are here. Moving in the I worship you. Oh, yes. I worship you. You are here. 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 I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here, Lord. Moving in our midst. You're moving in our midst. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You are here. You are here, Lord. Working in this place. You're working in this place. Worship you. I worship you. I worship you. A way make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, God is who you are. Hallelujah. A way make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, God is who you are. Yes. You are here, touching every heart, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here, healing every heart. You're healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Miracle work, 
from his keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Oh, yes, yes. A way maker, miracle worker, from his keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. You wait and make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yes, yes. That's who you are. Yes, yes. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Promise keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. A way we make a miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Ooh. A way we make. Miracle work, the promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yes, you. Even when I don't see that you're working, even when I don't feel that you're working, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see that you're working. Even when I don't feel that you're working, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even though I don't see that you're working, even though I don't feel that you're working, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even though I don't see that you're working. Even though I don't feel that he's working, he never stops, he never stops working. He never stops, he never stops working. Even though I don't see that you're working, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Even though I don't see that you're working, even though I don't feel that you're working, he never stops, he never stops working. He never stops, he never stops working. Even though I don't see that you're working, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, yeah, yeah. A way to make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, God is who you are. Yes, you are. Have a word. Yes, who you are. You're a miracle worker. You're a promise keeper. You're a way maker. Yes, you're the light. You're the light. You're the light in the darkness. Miracle worker. Waymaker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, lighting our pathway. Hallelujah, back to you all. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, God is who you are. A way make a miracle work. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Precious Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. You know, right where you are, just stay connected. As the music will continue playing softly. Praise God. We're going to just go forth, Lord God, and just all be moved, Lord God in the direction you want us to move, Lord. Praise God. The word today, hallelujah. Our word is responsibility. Oh, glory, hallelujah. We are responsible people. Praise to present the gospel of Jesus Christ to you and to, give, and to just share with you who he is. Glory, who he is. Hallelujah. We've gone at length, Father God. Oh, to be, Father God, uh, your mouthpiece, hallelujah, for the people. And oh, it's been a joy. I tell you all, it's been a joy. Praise God. And we look forward every week to do this. And God bless you, hallelujah. And as Brother Mel is kind of winding up, getting prepared to come before us, I just want 
to share with you. Praise God. The scripture. The scripture for the morning. Praise God. And hallelujah. I'm so excited. I'm to get there. But praise it. We're coming from the book of Isaiah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I could just calm down enough, glory to God. We're going to go somewhere this morning. But Isaiah, we're going to the 42nd chapter. Please get your books out, your Bibles out, rather, and travel with me. I know when you get excited in the Lord, it's kind of hard to just, you know, go to another direction. But you just want to stay in his presence. Hallelujah. It's all right. Praise God. But Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 7 read, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Praise God. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith the Lord, he that created heaven, and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth bread unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk. Hallelujah. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for the light of the Gentiles. Precious. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoner from prison. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I am the Lord. That's my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Glory to God. Let it test come from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 42 and verses one through nine. I got excited there and I just went further. Praise this thing. But right now, I bring to you, glory to God, I bring before you, hallelujah, Reverend Mel. Praise God. And he's going to come forth and just set you ablaze, glory to God, in the word of God and, and just excite you, hallelujah, with his uniqueness of the presentation he, you know, comes with. And oh, wow, I get so many um beautiful words. Hallelujah, people receiving you know, the word of God as he bring it forth, hallelujah, and, and the humility, glory to God, that they tend to say, they feel, hallelujah, you know, that it, that comes with it in the name of Jesus. But you be blessed, and, and as we go forth, come on, get on board, get out those Bibles, and just set your wheel to turn and turn it. Reverend Mel, praise God. Hallelujah. God thank you, you, Heavenly Father. Oh, oh hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. thank you, Lord God. Father, thank you that you're a way maker, Lord God. Thank Heavenly you, Father, thank you have made a way for us, Lord God. Oh, yes, you have. Heavenly God. Father, we love you and we Father, praise you. We thank you for all things, oh, Lord God. All Lamb things, God. Heavenly Father. Lord God. Lord God, we ask for a special anointing, Lord God, yes, upon your people today, yes, Lord God. Read. We oh, ask, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious oh, name, Lord, Lord God, Heavenly Father, that, that, that you touch us all Hallelujah. in a very special yes, way, Lord God. Heavenly Father, fill us, Father, 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 fill us with your Holy yeah. Spirit to overflowing, Lord God. Father, God your people Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you today. Open our hearts oh, and our minds to receive your words, Lord God. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Yes, your people that by your name. Oh, call them to humble themselves and pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And turn away from their wicked ways so they we all can hear from heaven. Yes. And see you bless our land. Yes. Heal us. Forgive us our sin. In the name of Jesus, we love to praise you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name. Greetings to you all today, and thank you for joining in with us Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. It's oh, really oh, good to be back with you. Last week, yes. Revivalist yes. Vivi and myself, okay. we kind of took a little time off. A little leave of absence oh, to regroup. Jesus. Since last March, at the start of the oh, COVID God. pandemic, we've been so busy with family, work, Precious ministry, Jesus. here at home, and missions throughout that we were becoming tired out and had to stop and realize it was time to rest. Glory. <laughs> All of us needed time to rest. Praise you know, it's very important to know when it is that time to rest so that you don't burn yourselves out. Amen. 
In the book of Genesis, we read about how God rested after the creation. That's Amen. And God took a rest, so I believe that he surely wants well, us to God. take a rest. Yes, he does. When the time Hallelujah. Comes. Praise God. So as we go on, I would like to take a bit of your time and share with you the message of God today concerning Hallelujah. spiritual leaders for God's people. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Of all the descriptions of Jesus, we probably think of him as the good shepherd most mm. often. Amen? Praise God. In the Old Testament, God the Father frequently referred to himself as the shepherd of the people of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen? Thank you, God. Sheep, more than any other animal, need a shepherd. Okay? Yes. Sheep, more than any other animal, they need a shepherd. Glory to God. Without him to lead them, they become confused and are likely to go astray. Thank you, God. Few animals are more defenseless against predators than sheep. Yes, Jesus. In Bible times, shepherds lived with their flock day and night. Thank you, God. The bond between a shepherd and sheep became very strong. Yes, Jesus. The shepherd knew his sheep by name, Glory. and they recognized his voice when he called them. Thank God. God saw Israel as a people who are like a sheep forsaken by their shepherds. They had been starved and mistreated. God had severe words of punishment for the shepherds yes. who were not true to their tasks. Yes. Ezekiel's words of warnings for us today. Yes. Spiritual leadership carries heavy responsibility. Responsibility. Okay, responsibility. Yes. Let's not take that lightly. Mm -mm. But with God's help, we can be the leaders he wants us to be. Mm. Another point I'd like to share is that God's people suffer neglect at the hands of faithless shepherds. Yes. Amen. Glory. Revival is needy. Please read Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 1 through 31. Yes, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 34, verses, praise God. 1 through 31. Okay, 1 through 31. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, should not be shepherds feed the flock. Ye eat the fat, ye clothe you with the wool, ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. The disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. Ah, and they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. And none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for my flock. But the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at your hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, and they may not be meat for them. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As the shepherd seeks out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the country, and I will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture, and upon the high mountains of Israel shall be their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold, and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost. I will bring again that which was driven away. I will bind up that which was broken. I will strengthen that which was sick. I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. And as for you, O oh my flock, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten of good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk 
of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden under your feet, and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because ye have struck with side and with shoulder, and pushed all the disease with your horns, till ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore will I say, My flock, they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David, he shall feed them, and shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them, the Lord hath spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the wood. And I shall make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There shall be showers of blessings, and the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell simply, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and they, even the house of Israel, are my people, say unto the Lord. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. Bless it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ezekiel chapter 34, 1 through 31, she just read. Glory to God. Let's break that down. Hallelujah. The shepherds to whom God told Ezekiel to address his message were the nation's Glory political and religious leaders. Glory to God. They were responsible to God for the spiritual warfare of his people. Yes. God Hallelujah. expected the kings to set an example of devotion to him. Yes. But the prophets and the priests, because of their spiritual role, were held in a greater accountability by God. The priests taught the people the meaning of the law. Just like pastors do today. They teach them the Ten Commandments. They teach them the Bible. Amen? Yes, Lord. They supervised the sacrificial offerings to God. Yes. The prophets delivered God's message to the people, encouraging, rebuking, instructing them. Yes. If the men who bore these responsibilities were not faithful, the people's relationship with God suffered. Well, we and we see that. that in churches today. If the pastor is not faithful, the flock is not faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That's exactly what happens. Glory to your name. And when the nation turned from God, they were weakened spiritually and vulnerable to defeat by their enemy. Mm. The Israelites were a people unlike any other people in the world. Yes, Jesus. God was their ruler. Hallelujah. They were separated to him for his service. Yes, Jesus. They were to teach other nations his laws, especially upholding the truth that there was one true God. Yes, Lord. Failure on the part of their leaders made it impossible yes, for the Israelites to fulfill this God-ordained mission. Yes. God used the word woe to indicate the severity of the calamity he was about to send in judgment. Yes. Lord. He compared the nation shepherds to hirelings who cared nothing for the sheep and were interested only in their pay. Mm. God forbid that as leaders and, and pastors and ministers that we look at money more than we look at the people exactly. and the souls. We yeah. can't. They did not care whether the sheep had enough to eat as long as they were able to fill their own stomachs. Mm. This analogy reveals men who acted savagely mm. rather than tenderly towards the sheep. Some men exploited the sheep, slaughtering some of them for food and using their wool to make clothing for themselves. Glory. This kind presents of some people today mm -hmm. think that they think that they can pretend to be pastors mm. in order to destroy the sheep and consume them in fallacy twisting mm. god's word mm. for their own personal benefit yes if you're not called to be a pastor brothers brothers out there listen to me Thank you. you are not a pastor okay you must be called by God. If you can't say God called me, you shouldn't be a pastor. Well, glory to hallelujah. Because it's not just some job you take on. No, no. Okay? 
It's not a job. You are an under-shepherd under the Lord Jesus Christ. You're Praise responsible you. for that flock. Hallelujah. Amen? Praise you. When we think of spiritual leaders, we first think of the ministers in the pulpit. But in the church, there are other leaders, mm. such as deacons, Sunday school teachers, youth leaders, music directors, and education directors, to name a few. Glory to God. These leaders occupy positions that make them responsible as shepherds of the flock of God. Amen. It is a serious thing for any spiritual leader to exploit God's people for his or her own gain Amen. and prestige. Anyone carrying such responsibilities needs to realize he is accountable to God and God alone. Amen. A leader's mission is to care for the sheep, not serve himself. No. Please hear this as I say loudly. God's anger is against leaders who scatter the sheep. Uh -oh. Oh. According to Ezekiel 34, 4-6 that, that was just read, God's requirement for spiritual leaders. Spiritual leaders are charged by God with caring for those under their, their charge, like yeah. a shepherd that cares for his sheep. Hallelujah. Sheep sometimes become sick. Then the shepherd must turn his attention to the one who needs special care. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would die. Sometimes a, shep a sheep becomes too weak to walk, particularly mm. if it's young. Mm. It was not unusual for a shepherd to carry a sheep on his shoulders until it regained its strength. Praise God. And that's our responsibility today. Mm. When we see a brother or sister become spiritually weak or, or sick, we are to lift them up in prayer, like putting them on our shoulders and helping them get through it. God, Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. If the, if the sheep broke a bone, a longer period of special attention was necessary. And if a sheep strayed from the flock, the shepherd went and searched for it until it was found. Glory to God. God's indictment against the leaders of Israel in this analogy of the shepherd was one that had not only neglected their duties, but had ruled the Israelites with force and with cruelty. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. No pastor or minister out there should ever rule his flock with force or with cruelty. No. They need to have a shepherd's heart. They need to pray for their flock. Amen. They need to bring them along. Amen? Glory to God. So force and cruelty. This referred especially to kings, mm -hmm. but was also true of priests and prophets. Yes, Lord. Instead of treating the people with compassion, they became like shepherds who beat their sheep. Without a loving shepherd, sheep soon scattered and wandered aimlessly, becoming mm -hmm. prey for their enemies. Yes. The beasts of the field who devoured the scattered sheep of Israel mm -hmm. refers to heathen nations mm -hmm. who exploited Israel, mm -hmm. particularly Babylon. Mm -hmm. Israel's safety lay in God, but when false shepherds turned them away from God, they faced immediate danger. Yes. That's the same today. If a pastor turns his flock away from God, then the world is just waiting for him. Mm -hmm. And that's the enemy of God. Yeah, Amen. Man. No stronger indictment could be made against the shepherd than when his sheep were lost and he did not seek them. Glory. If you are a pastor or a leader within the church and, and somebody just disappears all of a sudden, what's the first thing you should do? Find them. Find out what's wrong. Find out how you can touch them and bring them back into the fold. Glory to God. Don't just say, well, that person left. No, that's that's not how it's done. Thank you. When you're a shepherd, you're responsible for the sheep to God. Hallelujah. Amen? Yes. This proved that the individual who called himself a shepherd did not have a true shepherd's heart, according to Matthew 22, 14. And I ask that you please read that. Many are called, but few are chosen, mm -hmm. the Bible says. This means that there's a general call that goes out to all people. Yes. Some who hear the call responds to the call, but want to attend the feast on their terms mm -hmm. and not on the king's terms. Mm -hmm. When we speak or refer to God's chosen ones, we can reference Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 through 6, and verses 11 through 12, which I explain in paraphrase. Therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and dearly loved, put on compassion, kindness, Humility, yes. gentleness, mm. patience, mm. bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a grievance against another, 
Just as the Lord has forgiven you, you should also forgive Amen. other people. Hallelujah. Mm. That's very important. You can't be sitting around holding a grudge going, well, you know, this person did this to me 40 no. years ago. No. No. Let, Let it go. Let it go. God will step in and rebuke uncaring leaders, it says in mm. Ezekiel. In Ezekiel 34, 7, since there was no one else to defend the sheep, God himself spoke on their behalf. He championed their cause against the selfish leaders who have no interest in their welfare. That's right. So what is the significance of God's repeated description of Israel's my flock? Well, this is a rebuke to the false shepherds who consider the flocks belong to them. Mm -hmm. Every spiritual leader needs to keep this truth in mind. Your church is not your church. No. Your church is God's House church. of the Lord. You are a under-shepherd. Glory. You are not the shepherd. Amen. You may be a wonderful pastor, but it's not your church. Hallelujah. Praise no matter God. how small or large that church is or that flock, it is God's. It is God's. Hallelujah. Each leader serves under the great shepherd and is accountable to him for the welfare of the sheep. Yes. God introduced his indictment with the solemn words, As I live. As I live, saith the Lord. As I live. What he was about to say is the truth. Instead of being able to graze peacefully in green pastures, his flock had been terrorized by the beasts of the fields mm. who preyed on them. They had been devoured by these beasts because they had no protector. That's right. Amen. You probably is me. That's me. Read my mouth. How do godly leaders protect God's people? To answer your question, I submit that spiritual leaders are to be people who read the Word of God and are led by the Word of God mm -hmm. and of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Responsibility. Glory. Yes. As they study the Word and teach with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can warn others of the dangers of false doctrine and sin. Yes. And false doctrine very easily slips into a lot of our churches. Mm. Amen. We see it. We see a lot of different false doctrine that's out there. Warren. That's why you spiritual leaders have to study God's word. They have to know the truth. Yes. So I that they can cast that down. Combat it in Jesus' name. Mm. Praise God. As you study the word and teach with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, then they can warn others of the dangers of false doctrine and sin. Mm -hmm. Without this warning, many believers have become ensnared in the lies of the enemy and the philosophies of the world. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of them out there. Amen? Warning. Where there's no shepherd, God's warnings are not given, and the sheep are ravaged. Mm -hmm. This was even the case of leaders of Israel. Instead of taking care of God's flock, they were only concerned with their own needs. That's right. They were very different from the shepherds about which David sang. Mm. The one who made him lie down in green pastures, led him beside the still waters, yes. and protected him in the face of the enemy. Yes, hallelujah. God keeps his promise of deliverance. Precious Jesus. God will not stand by and allow leaders to continue abusing the sheep. No. He will pronounce indictment. Then he will give the verdict the same way he did way back when the Israelites were committing crimes against God's people. Hallelujah. The guilt of the false shepherds was beyond question. First of all, God told the leaders that he was against them. How sobering that must have been to have God against you, especially when you're supposed to be serving him. Hallelujah. God said, I will require my flock at their hand. Mm. God would demand a reckoning from the leaders for all their actions against the flock. They had forgotten their accountability to God, but they were going to give an accountability to God at one point. Mm. The moment had finally come when God would take the flock away from these false prophets. Yes. And false shepherds. Their comfortable living would be denied them. Mm. No longer would they be able to live by exploiting the sheep. No. God's people. They had failed in their task. The reckoning day had come. Furthermore, God said he would deliver his flock from these predatory shepherds. Thank you, Lord God. 
Amen? God, the great shepherd of sheep, would care for them in a way the so-called shepherds have failed to do. God loved his sheep, even though these leaders did not. And he still loves the sheep today. Yeah, Amen. He, he loves his church. Hallelujah. He died for the church. Praise God. Mm. Amen. Precious Jesus. Those shepherds only loved themselves. They were self-centered and greedy. And they, it should never have been found within a shepherd of God's flock. Glory, hallelujah. When those charged with doing God's work fail, he will take their position away from them. So will he remove pastors? Absolutely. Will he close churches? Absolutely. Hallelujah. Why? Because he's not going to allow it to continue on and on and on. Amen? God will not prevent such behavior to go unchecked indefinitely. In their place, God will put those who will be faithful in serving him. God expects us to seek the lost and lead them to him. Yes. In Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 11 and 12, mm -hmm. God himself said he would search for his sheep and seek them out. Yes. His compassion towards those who had been abused is evident. Yes. He promised to bring them back from the places where they had been scattered. That's right. If there is one quality that should characterize a spiritual leader, it is the quality of a shepherd's heart. Mm. When a leader knows just one is lost. He cannot rest no. until he finds he find that it. person and Hallelujah. restores him to the fold. Glory to God. Without this kind of love and compassion, a spiritual leader's work would be mechanical and professional. Mm. That's right. Or, like we like to say, it's a dead church. <laughs> okay, well, why is it dead? Where's the love? Amen? Spiritual leaders need a heart for people who are lost. A nun. This includes not only sinners who have never been saved, but Christians who go astray. And they do. Oh, they do all the time. They do sometimes. Today's world is more seductive than ever before. This calls for constant vigilance on the part of the spiritual leader, the shepherd. Mm -hmm. He must be alert to the dangers of people face, of temptations and, and temptations that they encounter, and to signs that they have begun to wander. He's got to be tuned into the sheep. Mm. God himself is our greatest example of what a spiritual leader should be. God brings peace and ensures safety. He does. Does he not? Hallelujah. Ezekiel 34, 13 through 16, it reminds us of Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. Please read that when you get time. Sheep need good pastors for their health or they'll soon deteriorate. God promised to restore his people to their good pastures. Yes. He promised to bring Israel back to their land. This promise was fulfilled in 536 B.C. And when he brought them home, he fed them. Mm. This speaks not only of their physical restoration, but of their spiritual nurture. Hallelujah. The Israelites have learned their lesson during the captivity. God promised to restore them to fellowship with him, and he did just that. Thank you, God. God is a promise keeper. Amen? Yes, hallelujah. He's a promise keeper, a way maker, a promise keeper. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. In addition, God promised to find the richest pastor for his sheep. Wherever they fed, the sheep would come home at night to the fold where they would be safe. The mountains of Israel, not a foreign country, would be their permanent home. Ezekiel 34, 15 is a picture of perfect safety and peace. Yes. Sheep cannot lie down and rest if they are without a shepherd. Mm. With him watching over them, they are no longer need to fear predators that would destroy them. That's right. What God will do for the flock of Israel, he will do for us today. What he did for them, he did, what do it for us. He'll do it again. again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We can enjoy peace and safety in the yes, world hallelujah. that's hostile to the gospel. Hostile they are. The enemies that would destroy the church are many. But they have never succeeded and never will. Amen. Hallelujah. Never. Never. God again repeated his promise to seek the lost. Some have been seriously wounded and injured, it says. To these he will tend tenderly minister on to them until they are healed. That's right. Go read he will God. care for the sheep that are sick yes. until they are restored to help. Back to hell. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 34, 16 portrays a picture of Christ's ministry to the hurting. Yes. Christ 
ministers to people. Re just re remember and remind them that Christ desires to minister to people That's first. Right. Hallelujah. There's lots of hurt people going around the world today. Mm -hmm. But Christ is there. He wants to mend their wounds. Yes, let them mend the wounds. He wants to mend their wounds. Let them mend your wounds today. Glory to God. He wants to mend our wounds today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Individuals who are the rulers and religious leaders who becoming that become wealthy and comfortable at the expense of the flock will be judged and punished. The Bible mm. says, "This is a solemn warning to spiritual leaders who forget their duties and their responsibility. Responsibility. They may oh. feel smug and secure, but their day of reckoning is coming. Yes, their day of reckoning is coming." Mm. They will face the true shepherd in judgment. Mm -hmm. Listen up, leaders of God. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of an angry God mm -hmm. who you have angered over and over again. Yes, yes. Ezekiel's prophetic message also looks forward to Israel's final restoration to the land. God spoke with great tenderness as he recalled the way his people were scattered throughout many nations with no home of their own. They have been like sheep without a ship, without a sheepfold. Yeah. And having no shepherd to no care shepherd for them, the word yeah. says. Mm -mm. This regathering has already begun as one of the signs that point to the Lord's return. Hallelujah. He's we are again. in the end days. Hallelujah. Israel is regathering the sheep. Ooh. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Spiritual leadership is a serious responsibility. It's serious. Responsibility. Amen. Duties and responsibilities of the spiritual leaders are something that God will hold them accountable for. Yes. But Ezekiel approaches the subject from a different direction. God presents himself as the great example of a spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. The picture of a shepherd illustrates the qualities of a spiritual leader better than anything else. It emphasizes the leader's need for a shepherd's heart. Yes. If it is not there, any training for leadership will be in vain. Mm -hmm. You could be the greatest speaker on this earth. But if you don't have a shepherd's heart, you have not been called. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit. A sounded breath or a tingling skin will go into God. Hallelujah. Exactly. Everything you do is in vain. Oh, glory to God. The picture of a shepherd illustrates the qualities of a spiritual leader better than anything else. Anything else. Mm -hmm. If it is not, if, if they don't have any of this. The, the things that we just mentioned, Boots forget the, the training, spirit. forget the degrees, forget Boots all that stuff. Of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Spiritual leaders, not just pastors, evangelists, or other well-known Christian personalities. Anyone who has a leadership role in the church is a spiritual leader. Glory. In fact, parents are spiritual leaders of their home. That's right. All leaders have responsibilities and are accountable to God. Responsibility. Responsibility. Ooh. If you are in any type of leadership position, ask God to give you a shepherd's heart. Mm -hmm. Let him give you a burden for the spiritual warfare of those under your leadership. Gotta have a burden for the Be people. fair and just. Love the sheep. Mm -hmm. And fulfill your responsibility in helping them mature spiritually. Yes. When you see a, a, the, the sheep fall, don't, don't just sit there and walk away from them. No. Amen? Lift them up, help them restore them back into spiritual, spiritual bondage with God again. Teach them from God's word and pray for God's best for their lives. Don't feel like they don't matter. Yes. How glad we are for the Good Shepherd's ministry to all of us. All of us. Under his care, we are safe. Thank you, Even during this pandemic, we know we're safe. Oh, Amen. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh, he oh, said, oh, I'll God. never leave you nor forsake That's you. What he Hallelujah. Said. Hallelujah. Under his care, we are safe. Yes, we are safe. Are we not? Hallelujah. He will nourish our spirits and protect us from the many enemies that stalk us. Yes. And there's a lot of them out there. There are so many. God gives us leaders with a heart like this. Glory to like Jesus. this. Today, I have in my sermon aimed to emphasize the important responsibility of spiritual leaders mm -hmm. and their accountability to God. That's right. Pastors who don't meet the qualifications of a pastor spelled out in God's word in the Holy Bible are just pretenders. Come on. Eventually, they will destroy the church and devour a sheep with false teaching, ungodliness, and all kinds of evil abuse. That's right. Allowing all kinds of things to happen within the church. Mm -mm, can't do it. And the sheep, they get deceived by it. Amen? Can't do it. 
That's why we've always said, don't look at your pastor. Don't look at your spiritual leaders. Look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on God. Praise Amen. God. As you watch him, look for Jesus in him. Look, look, look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Not only pastors, but all individuals, whether leaders or not, will give an account to God for their lives. Glory, hallelujah. God judge the leaders of Israel for their sinful behavior. And God will also judge those who do not know him. Yay, Jesus. Who do not know him. Mm. Those who refuse to hear and learn of God and to accept his son, Jesus Christ, as the personal Lord and Savior, they will perish in the end. Yes. Jesus Christ, the anointed one, yes. came to minister to all of God's yes, forgiveness, yes. love, peace, and salvation Thank to all you. mankind. Thank you, God. If you don't know Christ today, now is the day of salvation, the, the Bible says. Yes, don't let another day pass. Because tomorrow is not promised, the no. word says. No. If you want to accept mm -hmm. Jesus Christ as your Savior, Jesus. please close your eyes and concentrate on him oh, and repeat Lord after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am sorry that I have rejected you. I am sorry I rejected you. And lived the way I wanted to. And lived the way I wanted to. I was wrong. Wrong. And now I realize, now I realize that I am a sinner. Who is bound for hell. Bound for hell. And that I need you to change my direction. I need you to change my direction. I want to spend eternity with you. I want to spend eternity with you. Please forgive me, Lord Jesus. Please forgive me, Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. And ask you to come into my life. And I ask you to come into my life. And be my personal Lord and Savior. And be my personal Lord and Savior. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. And will serve you. I will serve you. From this day forward. From this day forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe you are God's son or daughter. I believe you are God's son. That's right. God's Hallelujah. son. Hallelujah. Uh, and not daughter. Let me correct myself. I believe you are God's son. I believe you are God's son. And you did die on the cross in my you place. Died on the cross in my place. You paid for my sin. You paid for my sin. That I committed. And I am forever thankful to you. I'm forever thankful to you. Please help me to keep my word. Please help me to keep my word. To you, dear Lord. To you, dear Lord. So that I may excel. So that I may excel. And desire to learn more. And desire to learn more. And more. And more. About you every day. About you every day. So that I can live a holy life. So that I can live a holy life. That pleases you. That pleases you. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for dying on the cross. For me, for me, and redeeming me, and redeeming me with your precious blood. With your precious blood, I pray, I pray, and ask these things. And I ask these things in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you repeat it after me and you believe that within your heart, yes. you are now a child of God. Hallelujah. You are saved by the blood of Jesus. Welcome to the family. You have been sealed. It says. So that Amen. nothing in this world can drag you away. Praise God. God loves you, brothers and sisters. Yes. God wants the best for you. Hallelujah. And God says, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. And shepherds, just remember, Ooh. you're the under-shepherd. Turn towards God. Jesus. Turn Jesus. your hearts back to God if you've turned yes, away. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. For it's a huge responsibility that calling is on your life. Precious Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mighty Lord Thank Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Responsibility. Responsibility. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Lord. Glory to God. You know, as Thank we you, close and, and wind down here, I, and, and as you know, it was said earlier, responsibility. Praise God. We need to be, you know what I'm saying, like ministers of holiness and righteousness, honor to the Lord God. And, and we need to be able to sing praises to him and say to him things like, where he leads, I will follow. Glory to God. Because here we are in the position, glory, I have the responsibility to lead God's people. And so we need to have that, that teachable heart. We need to have a desire. We need to have a shepherd's heart, and we need to be able to love 
love at all costs. Praise God. And we're going to just kind of like wind down here and I'm going to share a beep of praise to end this off. But I want to say have a wonderful day. And glory to God, here we are. Sweet are God's promises. Kind is his words. Dearer far than any message man ever heard. Hear what the mind of Christ sin if I see. Keep the great example is and pattern for me. Oh, where he leads, I will follow. Follow all the ways. Hey, where God leads, I will follow. I will follow Jesus and pray Sweet is the tender love. Jesus had shown sweeter far than any love that mortals have known. Kind to the erring one, faithful is he. God's a great example is and pattern for me. Oh, where he leads, I shall follow. Follow all the way, oh, where God leads, we shall follow, follow Jesus every day. List to his loving words, come and tell me, weary, heavy laden, there is sweet rest for thee. Trust in his promises, faithful and sure. Lead upon the Savior, and thy thought is certain. Oh, where he leads, we shall follow. Follow all the way. Oh, where God leads, we shall follow. Follow Jesus every day, for he leads. When you make a miracle work, a promise keep a light in the darkness. Our God, that is who he is. Our God, that is who you are. Hallelujah, you are a, a way to make a miracle work. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to Jesus, yes, Lord, hallelujah, glory to his name, wake it up again, come on, wake it up again, Woo, wake it up again, hallelujah, you're in the spirit for oh, the Lord Jesus today, hallelujah, he, he, come on, get off your feet next day and the praise, yes, moving in my come on everybody, Let's worship. Worship him, worship him. Come on. Let's worship him. Keep my him. Working in earth We worship you. Yes, Lord. We worship. Hallelujah in California. They know you, your Lord. Praise God. Oh, in Mexico. Yes. They worship you, Lord. Oh, they worship you, Lord. Oh, South Africa. They know you're here. You work in their midst. And we worship you, Lord. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Yes, in Nigeria. Yes. You're a way to make a miracle work. A promise keep a light in the darkness. There are God. That is who you are. A way to make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. Our God, that is who you are. You are Europe. They know you. You're touching your heart today. 